blossomy blossomy people out there welcome back to my channel my name is nirupama and i hope you all are doing great well as you can see that there is something different which is the sari and i'm just i'm thoda so dagged up for this video because we are going to do a makeup video especially for the festive season now i wanted to do this video for the longest time like mai soch rahi thi ki mai navratri se pehle i'll shoot this video and i'll upload it so you can wear this look for uh, navratri durga puja because i feel i feel red lips are like apt for any indian outfit festival occasion it is just apt for that but i did not get time because i was really busy with the my uh, flying and then training so yeah i know it's like uh, a day before diwali i'm uploading this video like today i'm today dhanteras i'm shooting this and tomorrow i will be uploading it so i really wanted to do this before diwali any how finally i got time for myself and finally i got time to film a video for you guys as you can see that this look is all about the red lips for a lot of people it's a daring thing to do because if you're not careful it can go wrong and that's not a very pleasant sight to look at there are, there were a lot of reasons why i wanted to do this video because ek to abhi tyaharon ka time hai and then uh, the few of you were asking me that uh, give us some tips to wear red lips look or what i used to do with the red lips so that is why i decided to make this video so yeah without further ado let's get started All right, guys. My skin is already prepped. I have moisturized everything I have done. If you want to see that, what do I do with, before applying the makeup on my face? So I will leave a link over here. So I will leave a link over here. You can just click on that to know about it. All right. So I am going to keep it very simple. I am not going to use any number of products to confuse you guys. So yeah, to start off with foundation. So I'm using this one. You can use whatever you like, whatever suits your skin type, whatever you have. So I'm just gonna dot it all over my face like so. A very light layer of foundation because uh, we all have uneven skin tones. We all have marks. We all have, uh, you know, blemishes and all. So uh, to cover it a little bit and to give sort of a uh, flawless skin. I will apply the foundation. So we are a little over here as well as my eyeshadow base. The way I show my makeup skills is like horrible. Like this is not the way a moa will do it. Okay, so I'll take my beauty blender and I'll blend it nicely. So basically, I'm just gonna dab it gently, looking at the cam. Like. The way I'm doing right now, it might not look like that I'm doing it gently, but trust me, I'm very gentle with my skin. Now I'm going to take uh, the Fit Me Compact Powder. Okay, as you can see, I need need to get a new one. So I'm just going to apply it on my lids. To mattify this area. Now we are going to directly jump onto the eyes. So I'm going to use the same palette which I use for every video. All right. So what I'm going to do right now, I'll be taking um. Okay, I'll. Which one should I take? Okay, I'll be taking this opal shade. Okay, this one. So this is a very warm. Uh, brownish orangish sort of a natural tone so which i use for my transition shade transition shade so now i'm going to apply it on my crease with the eyes i'm not going to do much because um, So now what next i'm going to do i will be taking this shade over here so this is unique and i'll use my fingers for this because uh, the pigment the consistency is such that uh, you cannot apply it with your uh, with a brush i think like the better pigment you get if you apply it with your fingers okay i am royally ignoring this noise because uh, 
making this video is more important for me so i'm just completely ignoring it and i will request you guys as well to please bear with me and ignore this you know i know it is very irritating but uh, this is this is this is more important right but we have to we have to work it out so now and this the leftover i'll apply it here so now again i'm going to take the same brush and i'm just going to blend it ever so slightly now what i'm going to do i'm going to take the eyeliner so this is what i'm using this is again the l'oreal gel liner and the sh names of the products it will be mentioned on the screen and in the description box so do check it out now i'll take the black gel liner and i'm going to apply it you don't have to be very precise with that like because you're going to oh <sighs> I hate this brush. I hate this brush. So I'm just gonna apply it like this. And wing. We're gonna make wing on both the eyes. Well, suffice it, it's not necessary because any which way we're gonna smudge it out. This brush, which I'm going to use to smudge it. Now. Whatever product I have on my brush, I'm going to apply it on my lower waterline. Now I'll be taking my favorite, favorite, favorite kajal and I'm going to apply it on my waterline and my upper waterline as well. Now I'm going to take this mascara by Maybelline and I'm going to apply it on my lashes. Now I'm going to take this. This is the eye pro pencil shaper which I use and I simply love. And I'm going to define my eyebrows now. Now again I'm going to, Now again I'm going to take the same compact powder and I'm just going to apply it all over my face. Firstly, I'm going to apply it on my under eyes if there are any fallouts. So we can we can get rid of it and i'm going to dab it on my skin i'm not going to rub it i'm not going to rub it because uh, say fir jo bhi product humne apply kar raha hai wo hat jayega so make sure you dab the product into your skin instead of rubbing it the v shaped blush blush contour uh, highlighter combo and i'm going to apply it on my cheeks okay in this look i'm not going to contour my face i'm not going to you know do the difficult part because i want it to this look to be very simple wearable and simple for uh, everyone if you don't have a lot of products so not to worry you can still achieve a good makeup look all right so for my lips i'm going to use these two shades yeah uh, one is by nika and then other one is by sugar i do these are the shades which i have used on my wedding on my wedding day so yeah so firstly i'm going to line my lips with this this is the sugar one all right now i'm going to fill in with this one and again i'm going to top it up with the same one to get the perfect shade what i'm which i'm aspiring for and now i'm going to line my lips i know i'm supposed to do it pehle but then i always do it at the end this is my style of doing it i know it's a tricky spot to get this thing right but yeah i think hmm this is looking fine 
Now I'm going to wear a bendy. I love wearing bendies. If you can't tell already. I'll take a green bindi. Now I'll do my hair, for that it's not even gonna take a minute. So, okay, if you want you can leave your hair open, but uh, I don't know with the sari I feel that the jura looks the best. So I'm going to make the low bun. I'm just gonna, a simple normal jura which we don't make in the house, which is very warm. This time we're gonna make it a little bit low. And yeah, with any elastic band, I'm going to use this one and I'm going to secure it like so. So, I think we are done. This is the final look, guys. like it so make sure you give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel press the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you will be notified whenever I'll be uploading my next video if you plan to do this look on this Diwali so make sure you upload a picture and tag me and for that what do you need to do you need to know my insta handle so which is nirpama 2 kukreti so make sure you follow me on that as well to get the updates related to my videos and yeah, that's pretty much it. And I hope to see you until next time. Take care.